In this video I want to show you how to make a pinched handle for a mug. So what I have is I have some wet clay, I have some soft moist clay right here, I have some in a bag next to me at the wheel. I have my leather hard mug but it's covered up in plastic so it won't dry out at all while I'm preparing the handle. I have um, my sponge and some water over here. Um, I have a needle tool. I have a scoring tool. I have a wooden tool for compressing. And I also have a doll pencil. When we're thinking about adding our handle to our mug, we want to look at the mug form and see where it makes the most sense to have a handle. You know, <clears throat> depending on the shape of your mug, the profile of it. Does it go from the top to the bottom? Does it go from the top to here? Is it in the middle? You know, where do we want to place that? So just think about the placement and the size of the handle before you make it. I think for this mug I'm going to make, so we'll probably leave the mug here and come down to this curve. I want it to be big enough for maybe three fingers to fit in there. So I'm going to take this clay that's pretty moist right out of the bag and I'm going to create a lug with it. A lug is a short thick coil. Create this lug of clay by rolling. Maybe stretching it a little bit. Then I'm going to cut this down to size. I probably only need about an inch or an inch and a half of clay. So here I have my lug. It's about an inch and a half. It's oval shaped. Now I'm going to compress the ends of this lug by holding it in my left hand like this between my two fingers. My right hand I'm going to smack the end of the lug, compressing and shaping it. So you can see now it has this kind of scoop or saddle shape to it. It's a little bit wider. I'll do that to the other side as well. So at this point, I'm ready to start pinching the handle to shape it. So what I'll do is I'll choose, typically I choose the widest part to be the top to face up towards me. And then I'm going to do two pinches. I'm going to do, the first one is going to be this, what I call a diamond pinch, where you're pinching in and down, in and down. So we're going to start right at the top. I'm going to do this in and down diamond pinch. Moving down and overlapping each pinch as I go. So then you should have, your lug should look like this where it has a spine. Then the second pinch is where I hold with my left hand like this. And then I'm going to compress that spine with my right hand. So I'm keeping the clay from spreading out with my left hand and compressing the spine with my right hand. Then you repeat diamond pinch compress the spine diamond
And if you hold it in the same orientation the whole time, gravity will make the uh, handle start to curve on its own. And we'll just keep repeating those pinches. And that handle's getting pretty close. Notice that the edges are round. They're not sharp transitions from here to here. It's a nice round transition from the inside to the outside of that handle. I still have my big, large connection areas. I've got a nice curve to the handle. So I'm ready to fit the handle to the mug. I will do a dry fit where I place it on the mug where I want it to go, see if it's the right size. Looks like I want to stretch it out a little bit more. So I'm going to do a few more pinching rounds. Now I'm ready to fit the handle to the mug. I'm going to use the mug itself to shape the handle, so I'm going to compress against Now this is a really important part here where I'm going to shape this. I'm going to press it down against the mug a bit and then I'm going to press up with my thumbs and create this interior shape here. Continue to pinch and shape the handle. Once you feel like the handle is the right shape that you want, then we're ready to attach the handle to the mug. So I have it placed exactly where I want it. I'm going to trace around where the handle will be attached. Draw a little line. When I'm getting ready to attach the handle, I like to place the mug on my lap between my thighs. It creates a perfect cradle for me to hold the mug on its side without it rolling away or compressing. So now that I've traced where my handle is going to be attached, I'm going to score. and slip. I also want to score and slip the handle. Now we're ready to attach the handle to the mug. So I'm going to line it up, clean my hands off, compress, and seal. Apply pressure and wiggle a little bit. Once you feel like you've really compressed those connections together. They're nice and snug. Now we want to come in and clean up this edge. And that's where our doll pencil will help us compress that edge. So I'm just going to hold it at a slight angle, compress the seam, You can also use 
a wooden tool for this. Then finally we'll take our sponge and do a light cleanup. We want to make any adjustments to this handle when we look at its shape. Do we like how round it is? Do we want it to have a more uplifting shape to it? Or should it be even more rounded or squared off? Maybe this flattens out. So we have lots of options at this point. And we can spend a little bit of time. Sometimes with a pinched handle you'll get a little bit of a texture or some cracks. You can come in with some uh, damp sponge. Just add a little bit of moisture and then compress with your and smooth with your finger. Typically when I'm done with the mug I'll let it set up for a little while. I'll cover the whole thing in plastic so the bug body and the handle can uh, acclimate to one another and become a little more similar in um, moisture content. And then finally I'll come back and clean up the seam even more.